Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2023 Topps Diamond Icons Baseball One Box Pick Your Team Number 5. Loose box of Diamond Icons as it, mentioned, as it was mentioned in the description. I don't think we have any more Diamond Icons in the shop. That might be it. Until, until we get more, maybe we'll get more. Big thanks to this group for making it happen. Thank you. So Chris with multiple last spot mojo stars next to his name. Got a bunch of teams before we pulled the rest of the teams for the random number block randomizer, which we did in a separate video if you're looking for that. But here are the results. All right. Good luck. That did that definitive break earlier, which was really nice. It's kind of a shallow box of either a lot of thin cards or maybe there might be a redemption hiding in there. <laughs> yeah, he better, Steve. All right. Good luck. We're going to lead off with Mariano Rivera. What a start. Five out of 25. And that's going to be for Chris and the Yankees, one of his last bot mojo teams. Excellent penmanship. He would be a keynote speaker at Jaspi's autograph camp, that's for sure. Next up, we have Bobby Witt Jr. Four out of 15. You can kind of see the green ink. You can definitely see the green ink, but there's a green foil along there as well. Good St. Patrick's Day sort of theme there. That's going to go to Gary and the Royals. I want to ever be Royals. Oh, that's, those are the polychromatic cards. Those are pretty cool. All right, we have Joey Votto. Votto Otto. Automatic, four out of 15. These Diamond Icons cards look really sharp. I really like the design this year. Sort of that black border right there. You can kind of see their multiple pieces. Kind of kind of feels a little like that old Supreme set. Some of you may remember Top Supreme. And gold ink really pops nicely. All right, that's gonna go to Ed and the Reds. Next up is Michael Harris, rookie auto, four out of 10. Braves, Chris with the Braves. Nice black ink auto, rookie auto. And we got some more green ink, nine out of 10, Kyle Tucker, Astros, that's for Gary. I like that green ink there. Then we've got purple ink this time. Andy Pettit, 11 out of 15. Chris with the Yankees. I think if you kind of see carefully, there's some purple, purple foil in there as well. All right, ooh, Cal Ripken Jr. Three color patch and autograph, 16 out of 25. Burn. Burn. You see that commercial with Mike Green, the safe room commercial? He's there, Burn. Chris with the Orioles, another one of his last spot mojo teams. Well, it looks like a few more, no redemptions. It's Anthony Rizzo. 
Seven out of 10, jersey and autograph. That will be for the Yankees. Chris with the Yankees. Yeah, the green pops a little more than the purple, I have to say. All right, Chris with the Yankees. All right, looks like just all kind of thin cards. Woo! That's George Kell, cut autograph, two out of four. I think that's a old, uh, yeah, it's an old Tiger. That's Chris with the Tigers, another one of his last bought Mojo teams. Look at that. On one of those old uh, Hall of Fame postcards. Went to the Hall of Fame a couple years ago, Baseball Hall of Fame, really awesome. Try to get some of the wrinkles out of here. Nice, that's a, that's a clean looking hit. Out of fives and under. Gets the train whistle, Detroit. Chris, all aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo -woo. Let's learn a little more about George Kell. George Kell. Uh, born in August 23rd, uh, 1922. His, the anniversary of his passing is coming up in 10 days. March 24th, 2009. Baseball player, sports commentator as well. Third base with the Tigers from 43 to 57. Perennial All-Star, won the AL Batting Championship in 1949. Hit 300 or higher in nine seasons. Wow. Producing a career batting average of 306, led the league's third baseman in fielding percentage seven times over. A major league playing career that spanned 15 seasons. Lacked home run power, but he was an outstanding contact hitter. Struck out only 287 times in 6,702 at-bats. Just 26 strikeouts per 162 games. Wow. Then he was a Detroit Tigers color commentator for 37 years. That's right. I, like, I kind of kind of remember. I don't, obviously don't remember him as a player, but I was like, I feel like, I feel like he was a voice I know. He was a, got into the Hall of Fame in the early 80s Veterans Committee. There you have it. He was also served for 10 years on the Arkansas State Highway Commission, owned a car dealership, Kell Motors in Newport. Uh, Best-selling author Elmore Leonard in the 1990 anthology Cult Baseball Players wrote that Kell was his favorite player. When the novelist threw out the first pitch on June 15, 1999, uh, Tigers game at a Tiger Stadium, Leonard wore number 21 jersey that was presented to him by the Tigers in an homage to Kell. There you have it. Yep, it's a Hall of Fame postcard. I think they, they still sell those there. All right, and your final hit is Albert Pujols. 16 out of 25. That's a good looking card there for the Cardinals. Yep, for Chris. The back of that card looks pretty sweet. That's a good looking card. I like it. Nice. And there you have it, boys and girls. That's your break. Diamond Icons, really solid break in the books. Appreciate everybody rallying around this break tonight. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com, and I will see you next time for the next one. Bye-bye.